This is Wild Chronicles. I'm Boyd Matson. In some ways, they look and act much like us. Now comes stunning new evidence that gorillas may also think like us. This incredible series of photographs taken deep in the African Congo and revealed here for the first time show what some researchers thought was impossible. Proof that wild gorillas can think through problems and like humans, they can make and use tools to solve those problems. Wildlife Conservation Society scientists Emma Stokes and Thomas Brewer believe the discovery gives us new insight into the mind of the great ape. Thomas's observation of uh, tool using behavior by gorillas in Mbeli was, was, a, was a fantastic discovery. It was made here in this remote research outpost at Mbeli Bay, a swampy forest clearing in the northern Congo where frolicking elephants create pools of turgid water. One morning, Brewer witnesses something extraordinary and manages to capture it on film. A female gorilla named Leah grabs a stick and appears to use it as a tool to measure the depth of the water before crossing a patch of swampy ground. This is an amazing and scientifically important moment. But for Brewer, it's also a very familiar experience. When I, I cross a swamp, I, I always use a kind of stick to test the water deepness. And what's fascinating is that these gorillas found exactly the, main, the main, uh, same solution to this problem. With these extraordinary photographs, WCS scientists for the first time have documented the use of tools among wild gorillas, something never seen before. We know that in the, in the past, we, we claim that tool use is a unique uh, feature of our own species. But we know that that's not a, uh, the case any longer. Animals are able to plan, they think, and they, they find a solution to a problem. For years now, we've known some animals use tools, especially in the pursuit of food. These chimpanzees are experts at brandishing clubs to crack open nuts, passing their skills on to the next generation. They use sticks to fish out insects and leaves like cups to scoop up water. But until now, wild gorillas were not considered tool users. Some in captivity have used sticks to eke out a tasty treat, but this behavior was never observed in the wild. And there was more. In another stroke of luck, one month later, Brewer witnesses a second gorilla inventing a tool. A female named Effie drives a branch into the ground and uses it as an anchor as she reaches into the water. Apes at Mbele Bay have been known to hang onto trees in order to pull themselves from the swamps. But this is the first time a gorilla is seen creating a structure to support its weight. This stunning new evidence shows that when presented with a challenge, Gorillas, too, have the ability to use tools to cope with their environment. Much like humans do. Such discoveries may help us understand our own evolution, how our earliest ancestors made the cognitive leap to grasp the possibilities of engineering. It just goes to show uh, the kinds of benefits you can see from a long-term research presence at somewhere like in Bali Bay. We could be here for hundreds of years and still not truly uncover all the secrets that the forests have to offer. This important research gives us a glimpse into the minds of one of our nearest animal relatives and perhaps into the mist of our own distant past. Check for Wild Chronicles on your local PBS station.
sponsored by National Geographic Mission Programs, taking science and exploration into the new millennium. For the best subscription offers to any National Geographic magazine, log on to nationalgeographic.com slash magazines.